Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on how to make this magazine hijab. And if you're just viewing my channel for the first time, welcome to my channel. And don't forget to tap the subscribe button and tap the notification bell to be notified for more videos like this. So basically I make videos on hijabs, magazine dresses and abayas. So without further ado, let's get started. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be working with two yards of fabric, table, scissors, chalk, my straight ruler. So for my fabric, I cut out 20 inches by 35 inches fabric. So I just folded it into two. After which I'm going to fold it into four. So the next thing I'm just going to do is to take my head circumference divided by four since the fabric is folded into four. So my head circumference is 20 divided by four, so that's five inches. So I'm just going to mark five inches there. And then from the five inches point, I'm just going to make a slant line to the last edge of my fabric. After which, I'll just use my straight ruler to just connect the lines properly. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to come up at that last edge by 2 inches. And I'm going to connect it to the other side of the fabric. So I'm just going to cut out. So after cutting, I'll just open it up and I'm going to open up that edge, which will be for our head circumference opening, our jab opening. So what I'm going to do is just to stitch those two sides. I'm just going to stitch them up. Then for my remaining fabric, I just folded 25 inches, like I have 25 inches in fold. To make this easier for you, you can just cut out 50 inches by 50 inches fabric and then fold it into four. So I have 25 inches in fold. Then for the length also, I have 50 inches. So I'm just going to fold it into four. So I have it folded into four now. So at the folded edge, they have 25 inches also. You can just cut out yours, but I didn't want to cut out mine. So I just decided to leave it like this. So at the folded edge, they are going to take five inches. And I'm going to take it all around. So the down part is a circle, like a circular flea. So for the length of my down part, I want to use 20 hinges. So I've just marked 20 hinges. You can reduce yours if you don't want it to be as long as mine. So I'm just going to mark 20 inches around. So the next I'm just going to do is just to cut out my circle out. So this is what we have for the down parts. So I have 18 inches fabric and the length is about 12 inches. Then I have foam. I actually want to input foam at the front part of my job. This is optional. You might just ignore it if you don't want to. So the foam is about 18 inches by 2 inches. So I'll just fold it into two after which I'm going to cut out a job cap shape from it. So after cutting it, I'm going to fold my fabric into two, after which I'm going to place my jab foam on it. 
and I'm just going to twist the shape out. So what I'm just going to do now is just to open it up, place the foam in the middle, and then I'm going to pin it all. So I'm pinning the foam to the fabric, and I'm making sure that I'm not having any excess fabric at the front part. So I'm making sure that the foam is at the front part of it. So what I'm just going to do now is just to stitch about half an inch. I'm going to top stitch about half an inch, half an inch on it. So I join the two sides here. So at the joint parts, at the upper hand there, I'm going to take 3 inches. I will come down by 3 inches. And then at the lower parts, I will come in by 1.5 inches. Now what I'm just going to do is just to pleat from that 1.5 inches point to the 3 inches point. So I'll just form pleats. Then after forming my pleats, I'll just take it to my sewing machine and I'm just going to sew on those pleats. And I'll do the same to the other side also. So I did that already. I formed my pleat already. So I'll just put it aside. Then for my jab cap, I top stitched on it. So the next thing I'm going to do is to join my upper part to my lower part. So I'm leaving the head opening. Then I'm going to join the other parts of my upper part to the opening at the down part. So I will join right side facing each other. And I'm just going to pin it all first. So I'll just start pinning. So I pinned it already, so I'll just take it to my sewing machine now, and I'm going to secure it. So I stitched it already. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to take the midpoint of my jab opening, and I'm just going to take the midpoint of that of the cap also. I'm just going to jerk it, and I'm going to place it right side facing each other. And I'll just pin it. So I pin it all. So I'll take it to my sewing machine and stitch on it. And then I'll fold our edge two into two and stitch on it. After which I'll come to the down part of my jubab and then M it. Then I'll take it to an overlocking machine to give it a finishing touch, like the inner parts. So, from the remaining fabric I have there, so I'm going to make a baby hijab from it. You can check my next video and I'm going to do that. So, this is the finished look of a hijab. I hope the tutorial is easy enough. And please, if you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Zuck my like and I'll see you in my next video, inshallah. Take care. Bye.